So here we have the Ford Focus on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. And from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area first. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 6040 split folding rear seat. Should you wish to increase this space even further again. OK, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And as I mentioned, we'll then hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. OK, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left hand side, first of all, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right hand side in the centre at the bottom, the fuel gauge and uh, coolant temperature gauge. Above that, the main trip computer, which includes the total miles for the car. They are 62,206. We have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can have various bits of individual trip computer information displayed there or uh, these four bits displayed simultaneously. And that is done using the buttons on the left hand side of the steering wheel. We have uh, phone and stereo controls on the right hand side. The main stereo is over in the centre just here. It's all touch screen, so you turn your stereo on here. And of course, once it's on, you can make adjustments to the volume down below. Uh, we've got plenty of ways we can listen to music. So AM, FM and DAB radio, CD player, USB input, Bluetooth audio, SD memory card input and auxiliary input as well. Uh, so plenty of ways to listen to your music. Pairing up your phone is easy. Just hit connect to phone here. And then you'd add device and follow the instructions on screen. Uh, you can come back out to your home screen from the bottom here if you wish to, or you can just keep going back a step. Uh, down in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, we've got our various different adjustments we can make to uh, the various settings within the car. Uh, and in the top right-hand corner, uh, the satellite navigation, uh, which when it opens up, you'll see is a nice color display. Uh, really easy system to use as well. Working our way down from that, we have the main volume, our CD player, and then the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, and the direction the air is being distributed in. You can turn the air conditioning off, back on again from here. And of course, yeah, you can adjust the fan speed as you wish. We've got our heated rear screen and a heated front screen uh, as well. Uh, storage below that, along with the USB input, a 12 volt charging socket. This button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which in turn will save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. We then have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.